Whether it be a few megs or multiple gigs, analyzing data in Microsoft SQL Server couldn't be easier with Spotfire. To get started, all you'll need are the credentials to your database, whether it be using Windows or SQL Server authentication. Once you connect, you select the database you'd like to access, and then select the tables you'd like to analyze. We'll choose the Retail Point of Sales dataset and bring this data into memory. It's only about 30,000 records or so. There's a few different ways to interact with data using Spotfire, but the most common ways are in memory, in database, or on demand. We'll cover how to decide which option fits best for your use case in another video, but for most common use cases where you're not working with huge data sets, the in memory option is preferred. You can work with this data set exactly like any other data you've brought into memory calculating columns, changing data types, creating charts, etc. We can create a quick chart here and save the file. You have the option of saving the data to the file itself or leaving it connected to a database so that it updates every time the analysis is opened, prompting the user to re-enter the security credentials whenever it needs to connect to the database. We'll discuss the options you have around saving in another video. As you just saw, connecting Spotfire to Microsoft SQL Server couldn't be easier. You can try connecting to your own SQL Server database by going to spotfire.tibco.com for a free trial. Give us any feedback, questions, or suggestions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.